Sister Wives' latest update, Michael T. Brown confronts her father Cody for his blame-shifting behavior. After Cody's harsh remarks about half-sister Maddie, Michael T. demands accountability, highlighting Cody's failure to recognize his wrongs. With family dynamics unraveling, tensions within the Brown family reach a breaking point. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, after watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sister Wives, Michael T. Brown Sick of Cody's Blame Game Sister Wives fans think that Cody Brown has this crazy ability to alienate his grown children. And now, Michael T. Brown is hitting back hard. This comes after Cody made some savage remarks. He is blaming one of her sisters for something he has done before. It turns out Cody has pushed even Michael T too far at this point. Michael T is one of the very few of his 15 grown children that actually stuck by him throughout his overly strict COVID rules. And she has willingly tolerated Robin Brown for years. This was even while they were taping these episodes in season 19. Michael T even lived with Robin for a while. She acted as a nanny for her kids and has served as a bridge between Robin and the rest of the family. Even up until this recent episode, when Michael T gave birth to her twin sons, Archer and Ace, with her husband, Tony Padrone, she was still close to Robin. Once Michael T came home from the hospital from her C-section, Robin actually spent a couple of nights there. She was sleeping on a mattress in their very big closet with the twins so that Michael T could get some quality healing sleep. And then Christine Brown came and took over, and Robin went home to Cody, and things seemed good. Sister Wives, Michael T. Brown defends half-sister Maddie against Cody's savage remarks. But then, all of a sudden, after this episode of Sister Wives aired, they were not good, and Michael T. is on fire about her dad and his constant blame shifting when he is the one in the wrong. When everybody watches these episodes as they air on TLC, there are actually a lot of surprises because they don't know what the other people they don't talk to filmed, especially about what's said in those confessionals. Michael T was on fire after she saw last week's episode when Cody was saying some really harsh things about Maddie Brown, her half-sister. Cody called Maddie a gossip and griped that he was left out of Maddie and Caleb's lives. He complained that he was paying for a crime he didn't commit. Cody told Robin that Maddie took her kids and scuttled away from him, ranting that Maddie didn't tell him she was pregnant and never said she was going to have a baby. Janelle shed some light on what Cody was griping about during the episode. She said Maddie is not in contact with Cody, and all the kids are upset about how he's treated the family. Janelle defended Maddie choosing to keep her kids away from their granddad, saying Maddie is very protective of her children and Cody has not been around since Evie was born. At the time that this filmed, Evie was 3.5 years old. SW, Tony Padrone and Michael T discuss Cody Brown's pride and parenting struggles. It's all this criticism of Maddie that Cody was ranting about that actually set off Michael T when she saw the episode. Michael T Brown said to her husband Tony Padrone that instead of Cody blaming his children, that he should just say, I understand. I did blank wrong. I'm sorry, can we talk about it? Michael T revealed that in the past, she had to tell her dad when he owed her an apology. She said once she gets her dad to calm down, then he can take accountability. But watching these episodes over the past seasons, when is the last time we've seen Cody calm? We've seen mostly tantrums, torment, soap opera level hysterics from the man. Michael T's husband, Tony, also said in on the post episode discussion, saying that the one big reason Cody will not admit fault is his pride. He said his father-in-law will not let himself be vulnerable and treats his children like just adult humans without the understanding that they are still his kids. If Cody Brown, having so many kids, could just find a shrink with an office the size of a barn and get them all there to sort through these issues, maybe sister wives wouldn't have to continue showcasing such family dysfunction. Today's next update, the Brown family's true feelings about Robin Brown's children revealed, were they snubbed. Sister Wives season 19 premiered recently, and one of the big storylines of the season is about the tenuous relationship between Robin Brown's children and the rest of the Brown family. 45-year-old Robin was the fourth wife of 55-year-old polygamist patriarch Cody Brown. By the time she joined the Brown family, Cody was already married to Mary Brown, Janelle Brown, and Christine Brown, and had 12 children. 
In 2010, Robin and her three children from her first marriage were added to the Brown family mix. When the Brown family stopped growing, Cody had four wives and 18 children, but the good times didn't last. When Sister Wives season 19 premiered a few weeks ago, Cody's first three wives had walked away from the plural family, leaving Cody and Robin in an unintentionally monogamous marriage. With the family so divided, Robin feels that her children have been left behind by their other siblings. Cody adopted Dayton, Aurora, and Brianna. Cody adopted Robin's children from her first marriage in 2014, and even gave them his last name. Though efforts were made to help Aurora, Brianna, and their older brother, Dayton Brown, bond, Robin's kids never felt truly accepted by Cody's other children. Though they shared the same last name, they weren't the same. Part of the reason they never bonded was because all the other Brown children grew up together, many of them under the same roof. Robin's children entered the picture later, so they didn't share similar experiences. Making matters worse, Cody's other children felt resentful of all the time Cody spent with his new family. Aurora and Brianna felt snubbed. During a Sister Wives season 19 episode, Aurora and Brianna discussed their strained relationships with other Brown family members. Brianna made the shocking claim that, on more than one occasion, various members of the Brown family told her that they didn't see her as a real sibling. Aurora went on to lament the fact that she didn't think the parents worked hard enough to bring the children together. What do Cody and Robin's other children think? 24-year-old Dayton hasn't spoken up yet, so it's unclear what he thinks about the matter. Cody and Robin did end up having two of their own children, 12-year-old Solomon Brown and 8-year-old Ariella Brown. Like Dayton, Aurora, and Brianna, Solomon and Ariella have little contact with their Brown siblings. Some of their problems are driven by the generational gap. Some of the oldest of Cody's 18 children are over 30 years old, and some are even married with their own children, so they don't have much in common with their youngest siblings. During a recent episode of Sister Wives, it was revealed that Ariella's extreme separation anxiety as a small child had a major effect on family dynamics. Apparently, Ariella would freak out whenever Cody had to leave to spend time with the rest of the family. Today's next update, Christine Brown and David Woolley fell in love at warp speed. Sister Wives fans suspected that Christine Brown rushed into dating when she moved to Utah. But, they had no idea that she and David Woolley fell in love at warp speed. In a teaser that she shared on social media, she teared up about how they just clicked. Christine Brown fell in love and married David Woolley. When Cody Brown's former third wife left him and moved to Utah, it didn't take long before she started asking fans about dating. Many of them thought that she should take her time. After all, she just left a torrid situation. However, she seemed to ignore any advice, and soon, the news arrived that she had hooked up with David Woolley. By April of 2023, TLC fans saw that Christine Brown had announced her engagement. At the time, some rumors started that Janelle Brown disapproved of her friend moving on so fast. Additionally, comments arrived on TikTok about Paydon Brown feeling a bit suspicious as well. Now that she opened up to him, Michael T, and Tony Padrone, Sister Wives fans heard just how quickly their mom fell in love. Warp speed love for the Sister Wives star. Sharing the TLC teaser ahead of Sunday's episode, Christine Brown wrote on Instagram, Our hearts synced up it only took a week for me to know. I love watching how our story unfolded. Anyone watching tonight? Tearing up about how she found a calm in the arms of David Woolley amid the crazy made a lot of Sister Wives fans feel emotional. Christine Brown described how people were around them, but when David Woolley took her into his arms and said that he loved her, she felt secure and certain. And, she told Michael T that she also said the love word right after he did. It came one week and one day after they got together. TLC fans react. Paydon Brown just hoped that his mom would be happy, but he was going to wait and see before he passed judgment. Many TLC fans who watched it believed that, when you know, you know. At least, the fortunate ones did. Here are some of their reactions. It's amazing how the right person can just calm you in the midst of chaos. Was 38 and he was 44 and we met in March and married in October just celebrated 28 years. When you know you know. This is how I felt with my husband. 
When you know, you know, and I can't see my life without him in it now, even on the tough days. My husband said it first too, eight weeks in. We've been together seven years now. Thanks for watching this videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.